Hey folks, Jen or Murderfin here, and I'm looking today at these little Ego Twists. Um, I have the 750 milliamp hour one and the big 1000 milliamp one. And uh, we'll take a quick dive into these, but basically what they are are variable voltage Ego batteries. Let's take a look. So let's take a close up look at these Ego C Twist variable voltage. Um, little battery sets. Uh, the shorter one is 650 milliamp hours. The large one is 1,000 milliamp hours. They have the uh, five touch, turn them off, five touch, turn them back on to make them pocket safe. Yeah, sometimes I can't count to five. Um, they have a very little dial on the bottom. It's very hard to see those numbers, but there's a dot where it says Ego Twist, and you can see that one's 3.2. So if you do it all the way clockwise, it'll stop at 3.2. And now we can roll it up a little bit to 4. There's a 4 marker, and then there's a 4.8 marker. Whatever you have near the dot on the side is roughly the voltage that you're going to get. And I usually roll them around 4. And then roll it back to 3.2. And the 1000 milliamp hour one is exactly the same. All the way clockwise gives you 3.2. There's little hash markers that are hard to see, but you can see it says 4.0, and then there's a 4.8. Little logo on the bottom. You know, I do sort of miss that USB pass through, but I guess you can't have both things in there. They charge on a standard Ego charger. Now, it has got to be an Ego charger. I've tried some other ones and it doesn't quite work right. You know, not the best variable voltage ever, but. I pretty much use them with these little vision cardamizers. Great pocket light thing to use. So now, the very fact that I can use this little voltmeter with it uh, pretty much tells you that they're not using pulse width modulation. I got it set at the little higher than 3.2, and we get 3.3. About right. Let me roll it up a little bit near 4. See what we get? 4.04. .04. Pretty accurate. Up to the top, 4.8. 4.8. Perfect. Now, let's put it back down and give it a load. I'll just plug in that same vision cardamizer I had. 4. That's about where I use them. Roll her up. Three point two, three point three, about right. So what I've noticed with these is kind of what I noticed a little bit with the first versions of the lava tube. Now this is kind of a, a low resistance vision cardamizer. So when I put it at four point eight, I get about four point three. When I lower it to like four point five, I get four point five. So it doesn't drop a whole lot under load, just a couple of points, which is, you know, pretty standard. Um, but when I try to put it to 4.8, it will lower something significantly, which is okay by me because I don't take those LRs up too high. Um, so about 3.3 on the 650 milliamp hour one and under load, 3.0. So you lost a couple points, but um, since you can dial adjust it, that's not quite as big a deal. Roll it up a little bit to four. Give it a check. 406. Under load. 402. So even less there. So that's a look at the Ego Twist. I've been taking my SVR to work with me all the time because I kind of like these vision cardamizers for work. Um, they work great. Now, this is a multi-voltage device, so it'll let me change the setting from low to high to mid. Um, but there's not a lot of play in there. Um, and it's a little bigger and heavier, although it is nice and shiny. The Vision Cardabizers have been great for work because, you know, my, my other, you know, daily choices looks huge in comparison. Um, and I've been using these for the past week or so. Um, I took them when I was playing Tourist. Um, 
I took them out to restaurants, I took them to work. They go in a shirt pocket, in a pants pocket, turned off. Um, you know, I don't think I'd use them for a lot of other stuff, but for these eco style cardamizers, they're great. I wish I had these when I started vaping because the ability to change the voltage, even not entirely accurately, um, but pretty close, uh, would have been great. And they make these cardamizers really sing because you can get it exactly at the voltage you need it. Looks like 4.2 volts on a vision. Let's crank this one up a little bit. So, do I use them all the time for everything? No, but for like $24 and $27 for the big one, you have variable voltage between 3.2 volts and 4.8 volts, which is probably enough for most people, especially if you're using cardamizers or LR cardamizers or, you know, tiny little, where'd I put it? You know, I can never find things I'm looking for. Them. Like one of the little slim dual coil cardo tanks. If you're using something smaller and you need to not take something big and honking with you, these work pretty well. And for that price, you know, I couldn't help but pick up a couple and they've been great for when I need something smaller just to walk around with and not carry. You know, I can have a couple of these with me, whereas, you know, taking two or three Pro Varies and a Helix and a couple of Silver Bullets would, you know, weight my pants down just a little bit. Um, but these have been great. So if you occasionally use an Ego style battery, if you're fond of the uh, Vision cardamizers or even, you know, the little I mist cardamizers, I mist atomizers, um, you know, even some of these big old honking three or four mil Ego connector type things, then these for less than 30 bucks and variable voltage may be something you want to take a look at. Now, I haven't run a battery dead on one of them, not even the 650 milliamp hour. Now, if this was the only thing I was vaping, I, I would imagine I would, but I've had both of them with me and I kind of trade off a little bit. So I haven't killed either one. I come home, I plug it in, it takes an hour or so to charge. They're not really fast charging. And you do have to have an actual Ego charger because I tried and then I had an Ego charger and I plugged it into my Mac laptop and it wouldn't charge it either. I had to have it plugged into a wall outlet, the Ego charger, and then it would charge. Some of the other chargers I have like for off-branded non-Joy tech ones um, weren't charging it either. So if you're going to go ahead and order one of these, make sure you have an Ego charger or order one at the same time. But uh, Man, you know, just like we're now saying, I wish I had Egos instead of 510s when I started vaping. Yeah, now I wish I had these little variable voltage babies when I started vaping, because uh, that would have been, you know, dishiznits for like 30 bucks. But anyway, Ego C-Twist. <laughs>